Well, the wind is picking up and the humidity is dropping, but it's still very chilly. Uh, we're still saying it is one below zero. Well, it's sort of oscillating around the zero. There's the 11 teams that are going to contest this title. And there's some very fine middle distance runners who are part of this inaugural mixed relay here at the Spa European Cross Country Championships. On our start list, interestingly enough, for the Turkish team, we have Emine Hatun Tuna, who ran in the under-23 race just a while ago. Most of the other teams have brought dedicated runners out here for it. The Germans have a very good team indeed. Including the very talented 1500 meter runner Marius Probst on the last leg. Well, that's the whistle to get the teams to the starting funnels. Here's the French opening leg runner, Elodie Normand. So it goes woman, man, woman, man. It's predetermined which gender what runs on which leg. Sometimes we've seen that you, the teams can actually decide which runners run on which leg. Diana Sushov, the very good German, goes to start with. <laughs> There's Solange Pereira, Spanish 1500 meter champion. Simona Frashalova, who we mentioned before, has opted not to run in the senior women's race. Melissa Courtney, starting for Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Alongside uh, Elodie Normand and Lynn Nilsson. Italian representative alongside her, Elena Bello. Youngest woman in this race at just 20 years of age. And Slovakia's Kristina Hesjusova gets some attention from the local cameraman. <laughs> so the women we haven't mentioned for Denmark, uh, Kalstrup Schulz, Turkey, Sebahat Akpinar, and on the outside, Ukraine's Natalia Bakrak. Ladies and gentlemen, the history is made. <laughs> First time ever at European Cross Country Championships, the mixed relay. Only in Chamorin in 2017. Well, it's Norman leading the way on form. It would be very interesting to see how these predominantly middle distance runners, many of which do have cross country experience, pace themselves in this race. On track form, it's Sobi Susho and Pereira who lead the way into the first hang handover. But it's Melissa Courtney now who shoots into the lead. Over the first 200 meters before they actually embark on the long lap. So these runners actually have about 1,700 meters to run. No 
and what we saw Phil yeah. in the World Cross Country Championships at, in Kampala was that the, um, the first leg was quite important because if you remember uh, Abdel Kiprop got a quite a decisive lead for Kenya which they didn't lose to Ethiopia well the race is already starting to unfold that was a very quick opening four to five hundred meters from these women 450 meters so it's Courtney back in the lead after drifting back Pereira of Spain and Vasalova well for an athlete who's mainly got long distance credentials Vasalova doing well at this stage and then the very experienced German international Diana Suzhou and Spain Phil they were the only country that only named two athletes uh, or rather four athletes rather than six athletes so they had it clearly clearly who was going to be on their team from the start and I think that might be a sign of, uh, of their strength well Spain actually had trials for this rather than just picking them on form and they had uh, trial races in Soria around a month ago as part of the European Athletics Permit meeting there. Anyway, it's Melissa Courtney now leading the way, though, with Solange Pereira and Simona Vrchalova in second and third at this stage. Melissa Courtney, personal best of 405, 82, over 1500 meters, so a very fine runner on the track. And for me, the big question is, can the Czech Republic keep Jakob Holosa in touch for that last leg? Because there won't be too many people that can outrun that, that man in the last leg of a, of a relay. Well, it he does have some cross-country form, interestingly enough, though. Very good 800-meter runner for Slovakia, although probably the Slovaks won't be in contention at that point, but Josef Repcik. There's the Danish representative finding the going a bit tough, but this is very impressive running at the front from Courtney Pereira and particularly Vrchalova. Sweden in third, fourth at the moment, thanks to Lynn Nilsson. Nilsson, a 408 performer on the track, has let quite a gap occur. Surprised to see Sujo not up there with the rest at this stage. So this is very much a not that far away from the first handover here. Uh, so it's Pereira for Spain now. And now Vrchalova having a fine run, Vrchalova. Wouldn't necessarily have expected her to be up there leading the way at the handover. So it's Czech Republic with a lot of crowds from Czech supporters who've come over the border. Pereira, two meters in arrears of the Czech leader and then a little way further back, Courtney. So as they're just coming into the changeover zone now. Oh, it's just on a bracelet, no batons. So there's a little bit of trying to slip it off your arm and handing it over to your compatriot. So taking over on the second leg, it's Philippe Sazenik. Well, the Czech Republic have put out a very strong side. Sazenik, good middle distance credentials. Now 30, Turecko, Francusko, France 
Sassenach took the European indoor bronze over 1,500 metres earlier this year. Well, the, so it's Sassenach being followed by Victor Ruiz. Very strong steeplechaser, Ruiz. Also the Spanish road mile champion from September. Actually ran in this race as a junior when he finished 81st back in 2011, Ruiz. I think he'd be a lot happier here. Cameron Boyick over Great Britain, Northern Ireland in third place now. So this is the leading trio, Czech Republic, Spain and Great Britain. And they are a long way ahead at the moment of Sweden. Emil Blomberg with the bracelet in his hand for Sweden. Now you can see the easiest way of seeing it is actually the bracelet is actually on the right, in the right hand of Sazanek, the Czech runner in the lead at the moment. Sorry, the left hand, I should say. So they're just, well, they're not tearing away. It's taking it fairly steadily at this stage. So it's Boyet coming through, the Sc man from Scotland, Scottish short course cross country champion this year, the early part of the year. This is Sweden with Blomberg, a bit further back, the French. France at this stage not showing well. That's Martin Kasser who's just gone through. Followed by Italy, but at the moment it's Great Britain, Czech Republic and Spain. They're the three nations occupying the medals in this particular event. Well, Sazanek opting just to hold it in his hand. The other two teams have slipped it onto their wrists and arms. I think that's a slightly risky tactic, but if he's happy doing it. So now into the sand, sand trap. Short way away from the changeover zone. Ruiz just starting to lose a little bit of ground. Interestingly, the Czechs did ask if they could perhaps if the relay exchange could just be by touch rather than by baton, but uh, or wristband baton, but they were overruled. Well, it's Boyek now, Cameron Boyek of Great Britain and Northern Ireland coming into the changeover zone, leading the way, having a very good run. Considering Boyek hasn't broken four minutes for the mile, he's having an extremely good run. He's going to hand over in front to Sarah McDonald. The Czechs, it'll go from Sazanek to Christina Mackey. Well, Mackey, in her time, has been a very fine runner. Spain just two seconds further back, handing over to Esther Guerrero who was second behind Pereira in the Spanish trial. Sweden a long, long way back. Well, halfway through this race then, two legs down, two to go. And it's Sarah McDonald making quite an impact on this race. Well, I think Britain know that they have to get a gap for their anchor runner, uh, Marshall to have an advantage over Jacob Halusa because we know how well he comes from behind. You've seen him run in European Championships and World Championships with fifth in London in the 1500 metres. Well, Sarah McDonald, reigning UK indoor champion over 1500 metres, so the perfect distance for her. Made the semi-finals of the World Championships this year. One of the emerging talents in the 
British team. Medical student at Birmingham University. Well, Mackie hanging on in there doggedly, Czech runner. 2015 World Student Games champion over 5,000 meters, Mackie. And still hanging on in there in third place at the moment, not drifting too far back is Guerrero. But it's still Great Britain in front, a few meters in front of the Czech Republic and then a little bit further back to the Spaniards. McDonald, personal best of 405. 48 over 1500 meters on the track. And doing very well here. Mackie doesn't quite have that sort of speed. 408 runner at best. She improved to that time over the over the summer, but better known really as a longer distance runner, tends to focus on the 5000 meters. Although she has been in the past the Czech champion over 1500 meters. Czech's not quite the same strength in depth over middle distances in the women's ranks as the Brits. So very good leg indeed by Sarah McDonnell, putting daylight now between her and Mackie of the Czech Republic. So about 10 meters between Britain and Czech Republic. Further back, Guerrero of Spain. Starting to slip back a little bit, Guerrero, over the final part of this race. Yes, the grimace is all over the face of Guerrero, well outside her comfort zone, but she's hanging on in there. Well, McDonald trying to stretch the lead, as Mark was saying. The Czechs have Jakob Alusa on the last leg. And unfortunately, and Britain are missing their top or their initial selection, Charlie Grice, the Olympic and World Championship finalist. Now, Tom Marshall's an excellent runner, is the Welsh champion who's coming next for Britain. So, McDonald just about to hand over to Tom Marshall. One more turn to go. Well, Guerrero's really fought back on this leg over the course of the last few hundred metres. She's got right up on the shoulder of Mackey. But it's still McDonald leading the way by about 15 metres now. That lead's starting to stretch just a little bit. Guerrero keeping Spain well in contention for a medal. Mackey starting to look very tired over the final 100 metres or so of this race as they come into the changeover zone. The final changeover in this, the mixed relay, the final event here at the 2017 Spa European Cross Country Championships. Well... Tom Marshall, 20 metres or so advantage over Jakob Halusa. Halusa, well, his credentials speak for himself. A very fine runner indeed. On Halusa's shoulder at this stage, Jesus Gomez from Spain. It's looking very clearly as it's been from roughly halfway through the first half of the first leg. These are the three teams. Well, Marshall's really made, trying to make a statement here. Really trying to put space between him and Halusa. Question now is, can he hang on? Has he judged this race right? Well, the gap was about four seconds, exactly four seconds. And if you look at the difference in personal bests between Marshall and Halusa, it's about the same. Well, Daniel Lundgren is the final runner for Sweden. Difficult to see Lundgren making up that big 22 second gap on Spain and the Czech Republic and getting into the medals. Well, we've seen a few Accidents and spills during the course of the men's senior race. But barring accidents, I think it's fair to say that Great Britain, Northern Ireland, Czech Republic and Spain are the three teams looking at the medals at the moment. Well, Marshall is really stretching out his lead. at the Indeed, at the moment, Gomez has gone past Halusa as we look down. And Halusa is not looking at all comfortable. He's a fine runner. He's probably pacing this race very carefully. But Halusa, well, 2015 European Indoor 1500 meter champion in front of his home crowd in Prague. And while I, while I remember it, him raising the roof. 
But just look at that lead. I'm just wondering, is that really too much to give an athlete of Marshall's caliber? Okay, so he's not the runner in the same class as Halusa, but that's still a very, very sizable margin. Well, he's blowing a little bit, Marshall. Marshall, personal best of 337.45, again, improved to that time this year. Former student at the University of Tulsa, now a full-time athlete, coached by former international, James T. I think Marshall's doing everything right. He's not leaving anything to chance. He's making it very hard, very hard indeed for, for those following. And as you alluded to before, Halusa isn't that experienced at cross country. What he is experienced at is coming back from a very long way and making up ground in the closing stages, but this looks too much. I think so. Getting into the closing stages now of this, the inaugural mixed relay. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you have watching the European Athletics live stream. Jesus Gomez for Spain in the silver medal position. Jakob Halusa, Czech Republic in bronze at the moment well only a couple of hundred meters to go i think this gap is going to be too big for spain or the czech republic to make up tom marshall has gauged his tactics to perfection i think well the spaniard gomez is towing halusa and they are closing the gap but i think it's going to be too little too late marshall gritting his teeth now just 100 or so metres away from the finish line. Probably about 150 metres. I'm just looking across the course now. Marshall looking behind him. It's a big gap for Gomez and Halusa to make up. Nevertheless, the Czech Republic could be on their way to their first ever medal at the Spa European Cross Country Championships. And that gap is closing, although Halusa struggled over the sand there. Marshall, though, Marshall can afford to just relax over the final metres, puts his hands in the air, and Great Britain take the last gold medal of this, the 2017 European Cross Country Championships. Well, Czech Republic take the silver, Spain the bronze. Hugs all round, Czech Republic take their very first medal at these... European Cross Country Championship. Spain brought a fine quartet of middle distance runners and came through for third place. A very distant fourth. It looks like it's going to be Sweden. Daniel Lundgren bringing through Sweden into fourth, France in fifth. But all credit to Tom Marshall. We talked a lot about Jakob Halusa being the danger man, the possibility that the Czechs could even take the gold because of his fine track speed. But in the end, Marshall really threw down the gauntlet over the course of the first three, 400 metres and made it so difficult for Halusa and indeed Gomez of Spain to make up that gap. They did close it over the closing stages of the race but it was just too much. And a credit as well to the rest of the Britain and Northern Ireland team. Sarah Marshall ran a fine first leg. Melissa Courtney led off Great Britain, Northern Ireland, gave them the lead at the changeover to Cameron Boyick. Boyick ran a strong second leg. That's the quartet. Those are the winning four from Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Melissa Courtney, Cameron Boyick, Sarah McDonald, Tom Marshall. And I think Sarah McDonald's contribution on the third leg was crucial because she gained such a big gap in the closing stages, which was then translated by Tom Marshall into a, an even bigger gap, which must have dispirited yeah. Halusa. Although I, I wonder, you know, given how closely he finished at the end, if he might have thought he could have won it. Well, we're just watching the remainder of the 11 teams coming home as the host Slovakia. There's Josef Repchak, two-time Olympian, former World University Games 800 meters silver medalist. And Slovakia come home. Well, that concludes our live stream. Pictures will continue. We have medal ceremonies for both the men and women under 20, under 23 races and the mixed relay. 
but we're saying goodbye now from Samarin as far as the commentary is concerned. So I'm saying goodbye. My name was Phil Minshall. Alongside me, Mark Butler. I hope you enjoyed once again our live stream of the 2017 European Athletics Cross Country Championships. Next scheduled live stream will be in July from the European Athletics Under-18 Championships. Please do join us again.